Hello everybody, my name is Selena Nell, way back at it again with the Slay the Spire bullshit just to show how goddamn terrible we are at this game. Oh, good stretch, good stretch, back at it. Oh, uh, can we abuse the blessing? Yep, alright, we're gonna try. Granted. Jesus. We'll take ball lightning. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply two vulnerable. Oh, that's cool. It's also new. I don't know. What I've been told. I really hate that Blizzard doesn't seem to be affected by strength. If they fix that, I take back this complaint. But the last time I played the game, it wasn't. At the start of each combat game, one artifact. That's cool. That's actually not bad. We'll take a loop, though. Ah, oh, well, there it goes. Fucking course. Can't can't be lucky. All the fucking things that room could be. God fuck damn it. I hate my life. I don't. I just hate that I like video games. That's that's the real truth of it. I don't hate my life. I just hate what I've done with it. You know? Sweeping beam. We could do some crazy doom and gloom sweeping beam combo. Speaking of which... Don't mind if I do. I don't like Streamline, but we'll pick it up. That's a really good card to get this early. Now we'll upgrade the Sweeping Beam. We'll hit with this just because I want to channel the Dark on the first turn, pretty much. Perfect murder. That actually uh, mathematically ended perfectly for us. Let's full block. There's no reason to take damage against this boy, especially where we might be going up against an elite next. And he's dead. No damage taken. I'll take it. Another doom and gloom. Uh, actually, I kind of want to go here and upgrade that second doom and gloom. I kind of just like the idea of doom and gloom. That's what we mean. This one's actually like not going terribly, which is like super disconcerting. Like concerning because anytime it doesn't go terribly, I end up fucking it up in a major way. Let's pass. Was a big hit. And we're also at the point now where our uh, lightning boys are going to, or our darkness boys are going to be real good. Oh, 
Oh, we definitely want to do that. We're going to take a bit of damage here, but we did hit for like a shit ton, so. Let's just hit him with that weak shit. I don't want to drink my focus now that we've already gotten him down to half health. I mean, that was like a 56 point hit. Right? I mean, that's not bad. It's auto shield and then doom gloom. Get our second darkness pulsing. We can kill him this turn for sure. Pick up Amplify. <sighs> Let's do the Calling Bell. That's bad. These two are fine. That's alright. That's garbage. That's garbage. I mean, it's alright, but like, those were like three super shitty relics. Really, if you think about it for a hot minute we could have gotten much better without even trying all that hard didn't even get through his armor that turn feels fantastic might not get through his armor this turn nah we will I really wish those would chip away at plated damage you know nah I mean Going for the double darkness there was greedy, but the storm never bothered me anyways. Alright. Let's leap. Let's defend. Strike. Hmm. Doom and gloom. Dead. Pick up the self repair bot. Start doing some of them mad heals on ourselves, brah. Speaking of mad heals, that'll protect us from the. Oh, it won't because of the curse. We'll take the 10. I could have cut it in half, but like. The cost of doing business there was just shitty. And these are both focus potions. We might just die here. Nah, we won't. But fuck. We're getting way too low, way too often. Let's take it. Sil, what are you doing? You know what? I don't need none of your fucking sass. You fucking hear me? Huh? I don't need none of your sass. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Why am I the worst? We'll exhaust that card just so it's no longer in my deck. And we will use the apparition to only take one here. Same here. Ah, oh, we are so the darkness right now, everybody. He's dead. Uh, 
Like, this is what we're talking about. Oh, this isn't good. Actually, it's amazing. And I lied. But we are going to drink both of these. You might say, so why? Why do this? And the answer is simple. For the dammies. If I'm just lame, doom and gloom. Plus, this is going up by like 10 around right now, which is pretty amazing. This isn't good. So let's do this. Uh, ended up still not being amazing. Nope, Pendant was charged, and we're almost dead. One health. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, we're so dead. There's no way. This boy hits for like 21 damage a swing. Yeah, there it is. Fucking normality bullshit. Oh. Shit, we might get it just because of the apparitions. We got it. <laughs> Let's pick up FTL for the card draw. I don't I don't want to lose another 50% of my max HP. As meme as that is, I really don't think I can afford to do that. We'll take the 12th block potion. That could literally save our life. Alright, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I just drew like the ultimate AoE opening hand for our deck right now. And I kind of did. Also, Pendibus charged. Doom and Gloom, please. Get them, boys. We really need more dual casts. Oh, the second we channel these boys. Oh, here we go. Dead. Awesome. Shit. Like, I hate that I'm getting ex I hate I hate that I'm getting excited because I legitimately just think that there's no way I'm going to win. But I'm so happy that we've managed to make it work so far that I don't even care. Let's just block or pen name is charged for the next turn. And he's dead. See, it's she oh, and we get the self repair off too, which will heal us. Oh my god. Oh, Seek Plus is actually amazing. Let's get loot plus. 
Well, you have 44 health against an enemy who easily hits harder than that. Dynamic entrance and streamline and a strike. We'll just take the one damage. All right, that's good. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not it's not the worst thing ever. And we have pendant charged. I would have liked to be able to hit Barrage there, but we want to get this into the dual cast range. Alright, we're full blocking the fuck out of that. And we're full blocking the fuck out of that. Oh my god, this is going to deal so much damage when we get it off. Shit. Fuck, let's do it. I would have liked to have been able to get it off with the dual cast, but... I think we're fine. How much does he heal? Oh, he doesn't. He just strength buffs. He's dead. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Frozen core. No. No, because normality would literally kill us. We're going to take the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, boy. Let's take as many question marks as we can. Dynamic entry. Tomb and glue. <sighs> like, I really like the apparition thing, man. It's really cool and different. Like, it's so much better than the vampire one. Because it feels like it actually compensates for the loss of HP. Yeah, I'll channel that five times. Pretty sure that's just the whole game. Yeah, there we go. Aggregate. Take the take the strike, please. We're about to hit a shop. Give me two normalities. Oh, my God, I have no idea. Is there another shop we can get to? There is. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hoisted by my own fucking desire to not be the worst at this game. I think we might have to blow, like, all of our potions here. A zero energy sunder.
All right, we're actually going to take like nine, which isn't good. Loop plus, loop, ball lightning. All right, we actually have three loops going on right now. Which is kind of crazy. Let's just uh, apparate. Defend. We take no damage. Alright, we're going to take five here. I didn't want to use another apparition, though. If we draw multicast, we just win, by the way. Oh, well, we win. Oh, gee, thanks. Let's heal up the full... <laughs> Every five turns gain intangible. That's actually really good. Oh, but I really don't understand how this fight works because I don't think I've ever seen this boy before. The Reptomancer. He seems like an annoying enemy to fight for my character, given the fact that he keeps summoning little daggers. Alright, so let's seek. Another Doom and Gloom. And our multicast. Dead. All right. I'll take another tomb and gloom, please. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Let's get of one normality. Pick up recursion and another loop. All right, we're actually out of money. Pass. We're constricted, right? Yeah, that's not good. Well, on the bright side, we got to draw off of that. Um, 18 times 7? Yeah, we win. Yeah, we win. Ooh, I would have really liked that. Damn it, I was like, just don't be a fight. Let's defend Doom and Gloom. Let's seek. Aggregate. Doom and gloom, I guess. We're going to take a little bit 
in thorns. But we win the fight, so. Alright, shit. We're going up against the final boss, guys. And it's the Time Eater. So let's drink some potions first. Pick up Recycle and an Apparition. Recycle Normality. Apparition. Pass. Like, the fact that he gains strength when we play powers is such a fucking slap in the face. Oh, we're getting hit way too hard. Wait, what? Oh, he gains strength when we play the cards, not powers. Oh, I fucked up. All right, we might lose. And by might, I mean we've pretty much lost. But I'm going to fucking make him work for it, you know? This is deal 22 times 4. We should push the churn change here because he's still only going to deal three damage. Multicast. Pass. We're going to have a lot of energy for next turn. Dude, I haven't beaten this boss in so long. Fuck you. Yes. <sighs> Owed completely to the apparition deal. Oh my god. Whew. Oh, that rain is coming down. We did it, everybody. I'm not the complete failure I always thought I was. <laughs> Goodbye!